name is Cash, and I'd like to share it with you one of my favorite books called Elephant Eats the Prophet. It is written by Jacqueline Reinach and illustrated by Richard Hefker. Elephant Eats the Prophet. One morning, Elephant had her usual breakfast of 17 glasses of orange juice, 12 bowls of cornflakes, 14 fried eggs, 22 peanut butter sandwiches, 8 quarts of milk, and a small frozen yogurt. Then he packed a snack and went out to work at the supermarket. was waiting for her. Good morning, elephant, he said with a frown. I have been going over your accounts. Well, said elephant, nibbling some chocolate-covered raisins, and you have a fiscal problem. A definite fiscal problem, continued rabbit. What does that mean, asked elephant, sipping a cup of hot cocoa with a marshmallow in it. Money, grumbled Rabbit. Money is your problem. Money is what you are supposed to earn when you sell food in this market. But you are eating more food than you are selling. And you are losing money. As your friendly neighborhood banker, continued Rabbit, I have to tell you that you are in a jam. Jam? What a good idea, Elef said Elephant, spreading strawberry jam on some crackers. Here, have some. Put down the cracker, Rabbit, <laughs> cried Rabbit. Put down that jam. You're eating too much. You are eating up the profits. You will surely go out of business. But I like to eat a lot, answered Elephant, peeling a grapefruit after all. I'm an elephant, but I don't want to go out of business. Aha, said Rabbit. You want to have your cake and eat it too. said Elephant, taking a vanilla cupcake from the counter. Why can't I have my cake and eat it too, if I can sell twice as much food as I'm eating? Then I'll earn enough money and you can go back to the bank and be quiet. That's a big if, said Rabbit, crack, shaking her head. You'll see said Elephant, cracking a walnut. I will sell more food. It's easy. I'll just talk everyone into it. Elephant began talking everyone into it. Attention, shoppers, she announced. Today's a great day to buy more groceries. So everybody fill those baskets. Never, cried Vulture. I'm on a diet. Me too, called Ghana. Yeah, shrieked Nightingale. Try and make me. The elephant saw Alligator. Her basket was full. Ah, said Elephant, I'm glad somebody's buying. Not, not only am I not buying, said Alligator, I'm returning. These cans of soup have dents in them. And it's your fault. Maybe you dropped them, suggested Elephant, chewing the carrot. 
It's still your fault, said Alligator. You should have made the can stronger. Talking everyone into buying more is harder than I thought, said Elephant, sadly spraying whipped cream on a butterscotch sundae. The way to sell more, suggests a camel, is to advertise. You should have a special sale. That's an idea, said Elephant Munch Not Cherry. So Elephant put signs in the store window. Sale today, only two bananas free with every banana you buy. Free bananas, yelled everybody, and they all rushed into the market. Hello, giggled kangaroo. You seen them slipped up somewhere. bananas, admitted Elephant, sucking on a lollipop. Everybody bought one banana so they could get two for nothing, but they didn't buy anything else. What do I do now? Well, snickered Kangaroo, why don't you give a door prize? Everyone will come in to take a chance, but you have to give away only one Prize. That's an idea, said Elephant eating a pretzel. But what will I give the for a door prize? Your door, of course, howled Kangaroo. Very funny, scowled Camel. No, it isn't, sighed Elephant. If I don't sell more groceries, maybe I really will go out of business. Oh, whoa, groaned Walrus. This is getting to be a problem. If Elephant closes the market, where will we get our food? I'm really worried. Me too. Ground iguana. It's all elephant. It's all elephant's fault, accused alligator. And it's her problem. And if the market closes, added camel, it will be our problem. That's what I'm worried about with the walrus. Me too. Zebra hopped by, banging on a big drum. Come on, come all, he called. Get drum up and get drum up some business for elephants. But how? cried everybody. That's easy, said Camel. Come to my place. I have the tools that we need for the job. Isn't it sweet to eat? The next day, the market was crowded with shoppers. Every aisle was full. Every shopping cart was full. Even Elephant was full of surprise. Congratulations, said Rabbit. You seem to have licked your f fiscal problems. Yes, said Elephant, licking an orange popsicle. And now that, that my worries are over, I can really eat. Elephant went, went to the back of the store and ate 15 pounds of french fries, 12 pistachio milkshakes, 9 quarts of coleslaw, 6 lemon pies, and a small frozen yogurt. Then she fixed seven all corn patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. 
she offered some to Rabbit. Oh no, cried Rabbit. Here goes the profits again. And that is the end of Elephant Eats the Profits.